welcome to the Williams Rink in the Capel Community Center just off of the campus of Trinity College for the NESCAC semifinal game number two on semifinal Saturday. You are watching NESCAC men's ice hockey on NSN. Our cameraman and producer is Walter Leffen. I'm Jake Donnelly. History was set in semifinal game number one as the Amherst College Mammoths and the Wesleyan University Cardinals skated for 91 minutes and three seconds before Nick Bondra scored the game-winning goal, beating Tim Sestak five-hole to send Amherst to the finals, which will take place at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon right here on NSN. But for semifinal game number two, we have the visiting Hamilton College Continentals, the fourth seed in the NESCAC tournament, going up against the top seed in the conference, the Trinity College Bantams. The Hamilton College Continentals, they come into this game as the fourth seed, 39-3 overall this season, but 10-5-3 and three in conference play, 5-0-1 oh, in their last six games. However, they are only in those last six games in which they are unbeaten, a plus six. They are going up against one of the hottest teams in the country in the Trinity College Bantams, unbeaten in their last 14, where they are 11-0-3. The Bantams are 17-3-5 overall, 13-2-4 in conference play, ranked ninth according to the latest pairwise poll. Our starting goaltending matchup here this afternoon, Anthony Tirabasi, the junior from Niagara Falls, New York, and the Nichols School, who played his club hockey in the USPHL for the Islanders hockey. He will be in net looking to defeat Trinity for the first time in his career. His counterpart here this afternoon, no surprise with the way he played last weekend. Teddy Lofro coming off of his seventh career shutout is between the pipes for the Bantams. We'll get to the season numbers of Tirabasi and Lofro after the national anthem from right here in Hartford, Connecticut, the Williams Rink and the Capel Community Center, the winner to face Amherst College tomorrow afternoon in the NESCAC Finals. As if you needed anything else to get your dander up for semifinal game number two. It's Hamilton, it's Trinity. The PA system never works for the national anthem. But the fans who have been waiting for this game for more than a half hour, the original starting time 4.30, PA system wasn't working, but they took it upon themselves and the leather lungs belted out the Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem of this great country, and now we have got a great game coming up for you here from Hartford, Connecticut. Anthony Tirabasi making his 22nd start on the season, his 22nd appearance. He is 11-7-3, a 2-7-3 goals against average, which is 59th in the country, and a save percentage of 9-14. That is tied for 42nd. 
Teddy Lawpro, the junior from Wellesley, Mass. 16 games, 16 starts, 10 2 and 2, four shutouts, a goals against average of 161, which is third, and a save percentage of 938, which is tied for fifth. 20 minutes on the north and south end clocks here in Hartford. The puck is dropped and we are rocking. Phantoms going from right to left on your screen in the odd periods. Hamilton. Oh, the first shot goes right by Tirabasi. Just like that. It's Mark Knowlton. Knowlton, the senior, whose last goal and only goal of the season came on January the 6th at Williams, playing in his 90th career game, has scored just his ninth career goal. 15 seconds unassisted, Mark Knowlton. His second of the year. How will Anthony Tirabasi and the rest of the Continentals respond? The Bantams, historically, have dominated the Continentals 29 and 6 all time since these two teams first met in the 1986-1987 season. However, both games this season were ties. Which, if you were here for semifinal game number one, could be a little foreboding. Taggart Cora a little bit too hot for him as Brochu fires a wrister cross ice over to Rory Gagnon. Gagnon trickles one in towards Loughborough. The pass out the one-timer! And Loughborough denies Brochu. And the puck was loose, but the redirect missed the net. Callahan tries it, blocked in front by Morrison. Actually, no, make that Sam Jones. Two on one, Earth City cross ice, and Loughborough makes the save! Earth City, a perfect pass to Sterling Bray. If Bray was a left-handed shot, it's a 1-1 game. Knowlton doesn't do much with the scoop. Gagnon for Brochu, south of the goal line. Brochu right in front. Jefferson looks, gets it to Cochrane, and the Bantams are going to get called for a penalty here in the final minute of the first period. And we are going to get a roughing penalty against whom? Against Michael Grand, it looks like. Morrison with eight. Cross ice. Continentals have to shoot. Morrison does, and it trickles wide of everything. Picked off by Feeney, who fires it back into the neutral zone. Quick re-up for the Continentals. Gagnon tips it forward. Brochu looking for some space. Gets it back to Gagnon. High slot for Cochrane. And the slap shot poked home. A beautiful deflection from John Stickle. And the power play goal ties us at ones. 15 seconds into the first, 44 seconds into the second. Weinstein to the rebound first. Back to Corvo. Corvo to Fiorentino. Rister hit a body in front. The puck is still loose. Gamel, and again, it's blocked as Gamble got collapsed and another shot, three straight shot blocks for the Continentals. So 100, a good number for Stickle as Grant keeps on working. Grant takes a hook and Grant and the Bantams are going to go on the power play at the next touch by the Continentals, which is right now. And again, Michael Grant and his good skating. Bring the puck into the attacking end. He flips the back in the feeding, feeding cross ice. The shot from Mishu. Whistles past the near side post. Again, Mishu, and that's blocked away by Cochrane. Gamble picks it up. Plenty of time on the power play. 82 seconds. Back and forth. Feeney, Mishu, number three. No, same result. Number four. Save. Tirabasi. Poke to the high slot. Grant extends to keep it in. Five for Mishu. No. Settles it down. Mishu. One timer. Feeney whistles wide of the post. But Mishu. Too far behind Pfeffer. On sides. Moore. Batting old shot. Trapper save from Teddy Lofro. Forty-six point four to go as Tim Weinstein and what happened here? 
think we're going to get two roughing penalties called on Weinstein and Moore. And we're going to have four on four hockey here for the next two minutes of play. And that's going to carry over into the third period no matter what. Nick of time. Now it's Ryan Pfeffer in the final 10 seconds and Pfeffer is going to take the 1-1 score into the second period locker rooms. We have played 40. It was 1-0 Bantams after one. It is 1-1 Bantams and Continentals after two. Bantams, we are going to start the third period four on four for the first 74 seconds. The winner of this one will play the Amherst College Mammoths tomorrow afternoon at two o'clock right here on NSN. Continentals have never beaten the Bantams in the playoffs. As Taggart Corvo up ice, he's on sides. Corvo backhand to the forehand and the puck jumped over his stick. He never got the shot off. From Charlie Zuccarini to get the puck in deep. Here's Adam Anderson. The backhand, not enough on it to get it by Ian Chen. Long outlet, Charlie Zuccarini has a step. Zuccarini saved Tirabasi. The backhand right back out. The Bantams in the third period. It is their best frame, a plus 20 on the season. 33 goals to the positive, 13 against, and a penalty is going to come on Blaine Oliver. He'll get called for interference. Taking down Tagar Corvo, trying to get to the puck. Into the Bantams defensive zone, about 120 feet. Mishu drops it for Feeney. Feeney cannot collect. Here comes Bray the other way. Looking for the shorty. Save Loughborough. The rebound, it's three on two the other way. Pfeffer into the attacking end. Drop pass to Chug. Chug shot, save. Rebound, Chug again. Misses the net. Pfeffer to Weinstein. Weinstein to Corvo. Corvo, cross ice. Over to Callahan, Rister saved here, Abasi. He saw it the entire way. On that one, Poliziani into the attacking end, and we're back to five on five hockey. Corvo with 13 13 left in the third period. Tries to get it by Jones, can't do so. Corvo steals. Corvo shot, and it's blocked by Morrison. Callahan keeps it in. Back to Corvo. His shot, and again blocked. I think once more. It was the junior out of Bolton, Ontario. Bennett Morrison, 6'3", 206, needed every single inch and pound to get that second block. Rory Gagnon jumped on it, gets it out to Jordy Jefferson. Jefferson dips the shoulder away from Grand. The puck was in a dangerous spot with Lofro out of position, but the Bantams had layers. Knowlton looks for the cross ice. What a move by Sean Allen. Wanted to make sure the pass never got there. Chug, Knowlton, Rister. Oh, it caught the nub of the stick. In, gets it over to Feeney. Feeney pokes it forward. Over to Sean Allen, though. Allen shot from the point. Misses everything. Nick Ursini with it. Ursini, cross ice. Bantams, too many layers. Fiorentino saved an attempt. The backhand, shot blocked. Oh, no. What a block. by Charlie Zuccarini, and that hit a very obvious spot. I was a baseball catcher for 21 years, and Charlie Zuccarini is in a world of hurt. The loudest cheer of the game for Charlie Zuccarini, who just caught it in the lower midsection. Zuccarini is still doubled over on the bench along the near side. Those things protect you, but it still hurts like a son of a gun. Oliver, oh, gets absolutely smashed by Ryan Pfeffer. And Oliver is literally putting a leg scissor hold on Ryan Pfeffer. That's gonna work out almost as Pfeffer had a chance to play that puck. Weinstein back out to Polsonelli. Polsonelli shovels it to Healy. Healy batting will try saved by Tirabasi. Ursini chops it to himself. Ursini gets it poked away at the last second. Joey Moore knocked down by Feeney. Puck out. Stephen Cochrane winds it up, deflected. Save Loughborough. It caught his mask. 
Cochran again. Looks for the deflection. He kind of duffed it. Oh, and a trip. Fiorentino tripped from behind by Nick Ercity. Morrison collected by Healy. Out to Feeney. Gets nothing on it. It's loose in front shot. Save Tirabasi. Mishu into space. Final five seconds. It's stolen. 4 3 2. There won't be enough time for Stickle on the shorthanded attempt. Game one went 91 03. Game two is going to go 60 plus. The Hamilton College Continentals in overtime, a plus four this season. They have not lost in overtime, 4 0 and 3. The Bantams are 1 0 in overtime this season, 1 0 and five the bantams have been almost unbeatable when it's gone extra frames the bantams are 16 1 and 16 over their last 33 overtime games last beating colby 3-2 back on february the 8th doing the damage that time feeney keeps it in now with 51 seconds left on the power play over to mishu mishu wrister blocked again by oliver Mishu looks for space to the bumper for Gamble. Gamble spins to Grand. Grand blocked again. John Stickle putting the body out on the line. Pass right through the crease and out the other side. Adam Anderson keeps on going. Anderson with Carrick. Carrick, Rister, save Tirabasi with Anderson jamming the net. Many layers, Tagar Corvo carries it past the red line. Corvo's got one to beat. Jones with the shot block. That is already four shot blocks for the Continentals through the first four minutes and 40 seconds of overtime. Gamble to Corvo, winds one up, save, rebound, chipped wide of the far post. Callahan, Rister, wide of the near post. Polsonelli jabs it back to Healy. Healy and Radzawan in a jousting battle. Healy right in front past Chug. The shot blocked. It looked like the hand to Rory Gagnon. This Continental team is doing everything they can to stop shots. John McGinnis with the game winner in that one. Just an absolutely fantastic player was McGinnis. Set play from the Continentals, and it works out beautifully. Earth City flips it out to the far side. Pass in front through the goal mouth and out the other side. Ben Shadle wands it forward, but it's kept in. Pass, oh, and Nick Earth City was right there with a wide open cage, but the pass was too hot for him. Earth City backhand. In the net, Knowlton's got a free hand loose. As the backhand in front, save, Lofro. What a huge save by the right leg of Teddy Loughborough. Gets it out to the far side point. Morrison, Rister, hit a body in front. Jones throws it in on it, hits the top of the cage. And Lucas Mishu clears it out of danger. Gamble flips it back and mishu has got time and space. And Mishu, the long outlet, touched forward by Taggar Corvo. Corvo fakes the shot, Rister, right leg of Anthony Tirabasi keeps this game going. Sauces it near side over to Grant. Grant skating so good today, keeps on going. Grant keeps on going. Grant the wraparound, Anderson shot. Oh, what a save! Tirabasi somehow got the foot down. The shrug save, Loughborough. Face off at the dot. Continentals are going to come away with it. Cannot get it out of the zone as of yet. And the shot, scores! Ryan Pfeffer! Ryan Pfeffer ends it at 12.57 of the first overtime period. The team leader in goals, Potts, number 12, and number 27 in his career. And it's the Trinity College Bantams and the Amherst College Mammoths, which will play in the finals tomorrow at 2.